coverage lately on the fluctuating home prices. When home prices fluctuate, so does your home equity. But a drop in equity does not mean low equity. Hi, I'm Natasha Ewing Johnson with eXp Realty. When it comes to home equity, which is the difference between what you owe on the mortgage and the value of your home, equity is tied closely to home value. So when home prices appreciate, you can expect your equity to grow. On the other hand, when home prices decline, your equity does too. In the last couple of years, the housing market has experienced the unicorn years giving homeowners a considerable equity boost. But at some point, the market has to correct itself and moderate to a more normal level. That's what we're seeing today. And although equity may not be the same as it was in the unicorn years from 2020 and 2021, most sellers still are in good position with home values remaining steady, not rapidly declining. In fact, recent home prices reports show the worst home prices declines are behind us and prices have started to rise again. According to experts, the average homeowner has now $274,000 in equity. Data showing that although homeowner equity has dipped some in the unicorn years, it still is a near all-time high since 2020. If you'd like to know more about your home value and equity in your home, feel free to reach out to me and my team today and we can get you an accurate information on your home value and the equity you may have. I'm Natasha Ewing Johnson, your real estate solutions expert.